It may be the same blue skies and the mountains look familiar, but today Joe and I have traveled a few hours east to Gangneung to meet up with YouTube user Charlie Cheer and explore her neck of the woods. So Troy, where are we going first? We're going to Anmok Beach and that's a beach where there are many coffee shops and there are um, a lot of trees. <laughs> There's pine trees and many people go there when it's good weather to go camping. Uh, very <laughs> far from the bus terminal? Yes, a little far. A maybe, little far? May, well, maybe 20 minute bus ride. Oh, that's not too bad. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, maybe Let's 20. grab a cab. There we go. <laughs> Here's a cab. Oh yeah, we have oh, to Oh, all the way down there. <laughs> Let's cut in line, come on. It's much more fun this way. <laughs> Yay, coffee shop. Coffee shop. There's, and we all know that Steve likes coffee shops. So Coffee is nectar um, of the gods. Anmok Beach is lined with many coffee shops. Uh -huh. So it's his place to go. Now, is your favorite coffee shop there? No, it's not. It's not there? Then why are we going there? <laughs> My favorite coffee shop is in Seoul. Oh. It's the first coffee shop in Korea. The oh, oldest coffee the shop. The oldest coffee shop. Yes. Ah. So There's heat radiating from the floor. Well, this is brand new tar. Okay. I have videos like... I don't, I don't know, I just... How long have you been here in Gangnam? I've been in Gangnam for 11 months. 11 months, wow. Yes. Now, now, where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. Now, okay, so this is a mountain town. Los Angeles is by the ocean. Yeah. And while the ocean isn't too far from this area, what are the similarities and differences between like the LA area mm -hmm. and Kangnok? Um, well, definitely, I think that LA, I think LA and Kangnok are a lot different than similarities. Because, okay. well, the, the similarity for sure is definitely the beach. But the difference is that Kangneung is more of a calm town and LA is more busy. Um, I think that LA is more like Seoul than, than Kangneung. So. Um, but yeah, it's a lot more calm here. People are not in a rush. Um, in LA, more, it's a lot busier. Really? I thought it was funny. Not in Kangneung. It's more in Seoul. Yeah, so. Yeah, I like Kangneung. That's the reason I wanted to. Um, I like staying here rather than going to somewhere like Seoul because in LA you get more of the busy, um, the busyness and lots of people. But here it's more calm and um, less hectic. So. It's a beautiful day to be at the beach. Oh, it's wonderful. That's the one thing I really miss about being. You know, in the like solar areas, yeah. we don't have the beach or or anything like that. Yeah. Um, but this is fantastic. Yeah, and then the sun is already set, so you got the pretty colors, and the war the weather is getting warmer, so it's not too cold right now at the beach. So. And it's not raining. It's not the raining. Forecast. They said it would rain today, and it didn't rain last night either. It was supposed to rain last night and today. And it was supposed to rain tomorrow, and actually, when I got up before coming here, I looked at the forecast because we're going out tomorrow as well. Yes. But it was like, rain tomorrow. <laughs> and when you book the tickets for the rail bikes, mm -hmm. it actually says, it doesn't matter if it's snowing. It doesn't matter if it's raining. <laughs> if you have a ticket, you, you will be going come. on the rail bike. Uh, so as we were coming out here, I yeah. checked in the forecast yeah. and it changed to sunny. Uh, Perfect sunny. weather. <laughs> so I was like, yes, Yeah. everything's pushed back another day. Yeah, my co-teacher told me that it would be raining when we go to do the rail bikes. And I was like, no! No, no, <laughs> no. So what Charlie and I are actually walking to now is back there, I saw some fishing poles. And even though I don't like to fish, I love <laughs> watching people at the beach fish. fish. 
Now, have you done any fishing while out here? No, I actually don't fish. You don't fish? <laughs> no, I don't fish. You find it too so. boring? No, actually, well, I don't eat. I oh, know you don't eat meat, but. So, the act of fishing isn't. You could catch a good boot. <laughs> catch a good boot? If I caught it, I'd probably just throw it back. Ah. <laughs> right, let's see what we have here. Oh, and a secret of mine is I kind of have. I love seaweed, and people on my channel, they know that I love seaweed. But I'm actually. I have a fear of seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I ever go to the beach, I don't get in. Because I'm afraid the seaweed is going to wrap around my leg and like pull me in. So I have a secret fear of seaweed. Ah. <laughs> While you were in the States, uh, what, what is your degree in process? Um, it is English Language Learner Studies. So I'm studying how to teach English to English language learners. So what made you come to Korea? Um, I wanted to learn about the language and the culture. And I had never tasted Korean food before. So coming to Korea was actually my first experience with Korean food. Even though in LA there are many Korean shops and there's Koreatown. You don't have to look at the camera. You can oh, the okay. Camera. <laughs> I didn't know which way yeah, you wanted. No, no, no. <laughs> it kind of felt weird too. And I was like, okay, um, yeah, I never had the experience um, with Korean food. So coming to Korea was actually my first experience tasting Korean food. I already knew some of the language because I would drive in my car and listen to audio books to learn the language. So. Um, that really helped my transition, learning some of the language, but really to experience the culture. Were you hoping to get, uh, well, you're here in the talk program, so mm -hmm. you're not going to be placed in necessarily like a Seoul, mm -hmm. Busan area. So, were you surprised you're going to be here in Kangwondo, or were you kind of looking at being someplace else? Uh, well, they gave us the option to request a location anywhere other than Seoul, but I left it open to them. And I'm really glad I did. I didn't choose a specific area. Um, they pretty much chose it for me. So I just happened to be lucky to get a really good area. Oh, cool. Near the beach and near the mountains. In the winter, people come here to go skiing. So I got a good of both worlds. Now what I find very interesting, I think this is the only place I've ever been to that has a styrofoam oh, yeah. uh, cup sleeve versus, versus then the other. It's very smart. Recyclable either. Yeah. All right, so where are we now? Right now we're in China, which is the downtown area of Gangneung, and it's where um, Home Plus is here. There are some small shops for shopping, there's food and just movies and norebang and everything. Now, now you love shopping at Home Plus, right? I love shopping, period. You, love shopping. <laughs> All right, you specifically love shopping at Home Plus. Yes, I do. Now, do you know which two companies own Home Plus? No, I do not. Really? One's Korean and one is uh, English. Oh, okay. Now, one, the Korean company, mm -hmm. you have in your hand well, not in your hand right now, but in your purse. It's white, oh. and you take videos with it. Sony. Wait, no. it's Samsung. Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> and Samsung. Other, um, Samsung. It's 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 Tesco and and Samsung. People call them Plus. Oh. Well, two companies. Two companies. Okay. Well, I actually I should have known Tesco because everything I buy says Tesco on it. <laughs> so I don't know why I didn't think of that. No, no, no. Yeah. So in China is. Pretty much the main place. A lot of people come 
to meet up with their friends um, because it has so much different stuff packed in one spot. There's McDonald's, there's Pizza Hut. You got it all here. We have everything here in this little area. Because I was gonna ask you a question. Oh, sure. What's your question? Okay, so what? How, how did you first find this restaurant? Uh, how did I find this restaurant? I think Minji, Minji, or my friend Minji or Nicole brought me here. Because um, I usually you have to look up to find all the restaurants, and I didn't know that. <laughs> so um, my friend brought me here because I had passed by so many times and I didn't know it was here. Um, but one of my friends, my Korean friends, brought me here, and it was really good. Yeah. But my favorite pizza here, really? a bug. <laughs> Things fly in my hair. I think I have food for later. She's ready. Picture perfect. When I first came, um, they had this potato pizza that I was addicted to, and I loved it. It was so good. It was like the potato wedges, and it was well seasoned, and it was my go-to pizza. But now they don't have it on the menu. So my go-to pizza now is gorgonzola with the blue cheese and then you can dip it with honey and it has walnuts. That's my go-to pizza now. now. Do you find that you that you eat more Korean food or Western food? More Korean food. The one Western food that I eat is pizza. But I don't eat here often, even though it seems like I do. <laughs> but I eat a lot of um, Chinese. I like the black bean noodle. The jajangmyeon, and I like bibimbap and dosok bibimbap and kimbap. Tell her, and, tell, tell her your poor man's food. Oh, cheese ramen? Is that your Just rice and soup. Oh, yeah. So live off of it. I live yes. off of, There's I live nothing off, wrong with white rice. I live off of rice and seaweed. Uh, it's another day. Charlie, where are we headed now? Today we're headed to a Chinese restaurant. I don't remember the name. It's like, I don't remember. Something with an M. <laughs> Something with an L. Yes. Now, what is your favorite meal over here? Um, well, I have two. Um, but I really like bokkeumbap. It's fried rice with, um, it's stir fried rice with black bean sauce. But I also like gan jajang, which is like jajangmyeon. It's the same thing. It's black bean sauce with noodles except it comes separately instead of already mixed together and it's supposed to be slightly less greasy slightly less. <laughs> so a little bit healthier but not all that help, much healthier <laughs> <laughs> but I think it tastes better it's supposed to be more fresh okay so it comes separately and you mix it together instead of when it arrives it's already mixed together okay yeah yeah, yeah. very familiar with that <laughs> now in Kangen there are a lot of places to kind of hang out and spend some time yeah where, if you were like just like to take a chill afternoon mm -hmm. where where do you like to go uh, a chill afternoon huh. it's always a coffee shop it's always a coffee shop <laughs> yeah we're making a left? actually um, yes we can make a left 
Actually, the area we're in right now is good for all the bars. Um, this is the area that I live in and there's lots of bars and coffee shops. So this is really the place to hang out because um, there's a university right nearby. So many students come to drink and chat at the coffee shop or go to the bar and yeah, hang out. So Charlie, how did you first find this place? Um, well, it's actually right near my house, so it opened up while I was here and um, I kept walking by and I saw that it said Chinese restaurant and I like jajangmyeon and gajajang, so I kept passing by and then after a while I was like, let me just go in and I asked them if they had this dish and they did, so I tried it and it was really good, so I don't go here, I come here often even though it's close to my house. But when I do come here, it's like a nice street because it's really good. Well, thank you very much, Charlie, for welcome. taking us around Kangmu. You're very welcome. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. You showed us some great, great food and some great food. I'm glad you came, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. Super. So, everyone, this is Charlie Cheer. Make sure you surf on over to her channel and subscribe. And if you're in this part of Korea, make sure you come on over here. It is a fantastic city in the pines. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.